Shalom everybody, this is Rabbi Shapira. I want to give you an update. I know all of you have been watching my videos. Uh, updates from Israel, we are connected with so many people, not just that family member, loved ones. A couple of uh, quick pr prayer points, I'll be straight to the point. Here are the things we need to be praying for today, right at this moment. Number one, we need to pray. We're very close to the national unity government. You heard me speaking about this the last few days. This is a major thing right now that the coalition opposition are about to come together. We're very, very close for this. We're losing precious moment. We need to pray that even tonight, even today, they will sign a national unity government, a Knesset that is one people, one united left and right together against this common enemy of Israel. Please. Please let us all be in strong prayer for the unity inside of Israel right at this moment. This is number one. Number two, we're still watching what's happening in the border in the north. I believe that we need to continue to pray that Hezbollah will not get involved in this war. Because obviously if Hezbollah will get involved, it's number one is going to be much more than 5,000 rockets. They have thousands and tens of thousands of rockets is going to be something much much more massive and it's more than likely will lead to a regional regional um, battle inside of or, or in the Middle East so we don't want that we need to pray against that specifically today also let's pray specifically for the borders of Israel that's bullet point number three let us pray for the for the the northern border nobody will be able to come on into this and also no more of this craziness coming from Gaza in I think this is something we need to pray for all the borders of Israel to be protected that's number three and then number four very important Israel today drafted about 360,000 soldiers and even today uh, people from all over the world are coming back to Israel to uh, to receive this draft to be back in and for us friends this is important that's mean that Israel is preparing to enter into Gaza and although I believe it's going to be necessary today, they cut the water, they cut the electricity, they cut all the supplies from Gaza already to go inside Gaza mean more casualties. We have already about 100 plus soldiers who died. Uh, we need to continue to pray specifically for this. I believe Israel uh, entry into Gaza, it's imminent. It's within the next day, two days, I don't know, but it's very, very soon. It's around the corner. Let us pray for that. Friends, we also want to specifically pray for the hostage situation, that, that there will be such a pressure put upon those guys that they will return them, return them at once. I know this is very unlikely, but we do pray for them and we more more importantly pray for the hostages that are still held captive about 150. Again, the word for today is unity, unity, unity. We want to see this national government is coming together and functioning as group of Jews with one heart and one accord. Thank you again, everybody. We started Operation Israel Special Fund. Please support it with all that you have. It's on your screen. God bless you, everybody, and shalom.